Hello everyone, it's Rich Conrad for Remax Preferred Choice and this is going to be part two of what, uh, the electronic signature submission through dot loop, specifically using dot loops interactive forms. So first thing I'm going to do is I go into the dot loop account and I'm going to choose the uh, this test account 44444 West Bethany. Now before I begin, I'm going to make a few changes as we see that uh, says folder, but I want, I want to make this a little bit more generic. So I'm going to change the name of folder to escrow folder. And all I have to do is simply take the cursor and click this drop down arrow, change that to rename and type in escrow folder. Okay. Now I'm going to go into our interactive forms and you're going to find dot loops interactive forms uh, in the template button right here. So if you click on the template button, we'll go directly to the electronic forms. So we click on that. And now we click on documents. Now if you look at the uh, left hand side, you'll notice that we have armless forms and Arizona Association forms. So you're pretty much going to find all the forms that you need within one of these two right here. And we also have, once again, uh, we created escrow packets and listing packets, but right now I'm just going to focus on the forms we find in the Arizona Association. And I'm going to look for the residential purchase contract. Right. And here we go. All right, so now if I want to actually, if I want to add the purchase contract into the transaction we created, that was the 44444 West Bethany, all we need to do is simply click on whatever form we want to use, and then we scroll back up to the top and click on Copy To. Now we always use the default, which is copy as dot loop document, and we're going to click to loop, or meaning to the transaction we created. And we type in the property address in the search field, and there we go. And I'm going to click on the property address, and the escrow folder is already is already checked. Now, if we create a numerous folders, so let's say if we had an escrow folder, we had a listing folder, or a private document folder, then we would actually, in that case right there, we'd have to choose which folder we want to send that document to. But in this case, there's only one folder, so the default would be that one folder. And now I'm going to click on Copy. Now we're going to go into the transactions because we're still in the template folder. So to go into the transactions, we click, we're going to choose this, uh, the loop button. So just check that. And now I'm going to go back into the transaction. And as you see, we have the residential resale purchase contract. So now I'm going to click on the document. And now we have an assigned field dialog box, and this is where, where we choose, uh, we, we essentially we inform dot loop who all the participants are, who the buyers are, who the sellers are, who may the buying agent, listing agent may be. What I'm going to do, I'm only going to click on the, uh, I'm only going to work with the buyer one, so I'm going to click select person and add person, and I'm going to type in my name. So in this example right here, I'm going to be the buyer and also enter the, my email address. And then we click on assign. All right, now it says field assignment successful, Remax preferred choice, buyer Rich Conrad. And if we scroll down through the purchase contract you'll see right here how RC Rich Conrad has been assigned as a buyer. So now Dot Loop knows who the buyers are. And we just simply fill out, because this is an interactive form, we're able now to just simply fill out all the fields in the purchase contract.
Now I'm not going to fill out all the fields, obviously. Whoops. Let me let me just make that change that real fast. One hundred thousand, and I'll say earnest money five hundred dollars, and close of escrow. We're just going to say uh, June thirtieth. All right. Now, obviously, if this was a, a true contract, contract, you would have filled out all the fields. At that point, after everything is filled filled out, you click on Save and Share. All right. My name was actually entered twice because Dot Loop remembered me from a prior transaction. So I'm going to actually take out the first one. Now, if you wanted to enter any note, and this is where you place the note, and then when whomever you send this uh, the purchase contract to, they'll receive an email with your message. So now I'm going to click share, or share is another word for email. And it says this document has been shared waiting on others. So now I'm going to go into my email, and we're going to wait for this transaction. And there it is. It came from which Conrad action needed. So all your client would have to do is simply just click on the email, click on view document, and they literally just follow the instructions. So they click on here for start signing, and they just simply literally click wherever it is they need to click. Now the first time they do make a click, uh, they are going to ask them to uh, create a sign signature. We can either draw our own signature or simply adopt and sign. And I'm going to click adopt and sign. And as this, and as you noticed, dot loop will send uh, your client to where exactly wherever it is they need to sign. Also, if you pay attention right up here, you notice uh, this has five of fourteen fields completed. And every time we check on a box. It's going to go to the next number. Confirm signing. And it says you're done, in which case now I'm going to enter a password. And this way, uh, your client will always be able to pull up the document without having to call you up. So they always have immediate access to all the forms. Now, the reason why you see uh, Rich Conrad and Remax Preferred Choice is because I'm also an administrator. Uh, whoever you send uh, your files to would not see Remax Preferred Choice. So I'm going to click Rich Conrad, select. And we're done. All right. Now at this point you should receive an email back saying that uh, the purchase contract has been filled out. And I'm going to go back into dot loop and click on back. And you notice now it says signed. So uh, whereas previously when we first sent the document it said waiting, now it says signed. And I'm just going to click on the transaction. And that way you'll see that we have all the signatures and all the initials. And that's pretty much all you have to do. If you have any questions on this or any of the other tutorials, please feel free to give me a call or send me an email. My telephone number is 602-316-6319 or I could be reached via email at richconrad at rmpcaz.com. Hope you're having a great day.